led ambassador and Malachi Ferguson, St. Pete's and University's country led ambassador. Morning to you, Malachi. Morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Thank you so much for having us. Of no course, pleasure. Course. Welcome. Can okay. you tell us what is the U report and how does it work? Okay, so Uniport OECS is a digital platform that was designed by UNICEF and it is currently being managed by the OECS Commission as a means of engaging, <coughs> sorry, and empowering young people ages 13 to 29 to amplify their voices, to speak out on issues that impact them the most, impact their communities, impact their countries. So this is a digital space to finally get young people to be heard. Okay. So this is what the U report in a nutshell is about. Okay. So my question to both of you, and I'm gonna start with you ladies first, how did you get involved in the U report? Okay, I think I did that first. <laughs> yes, ladies first. <laughs> okay. So I got into U report because I recognize the impact of data collection to amplify the voices of young people. I believe that it is about time that young people voices are heard. And the U report platform provided the perfect space. And not just a space, but the perfect digital space because young people are using social media. And imagine if young people could take, let's say, five seconds to five minutes of their time to actually engage on social media, something that will impact positive change. And I recognize the importance of that. And I was like, I'm going to get on board with you about OECS and try to encourage other young persons to participate in the platform um, because the power of one voice is, um, is good, but the power of many is even better. Okay. Malachi? So I'm a youth advocate and also a youth parliamentarian and we have those problems with data collection mm -hmm. here and similarly as Wendy would have just said across the Caribbean right so I wanted to join a space that you know has that same goal which is to get quantifiable data for policymakers and lawmakers to be guided make informed decisions when in matters are relating to youth. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so, Malachi and Wendy, individually, mm -hmm. can you tell us what are your roles at the new report for ICS? Like individual roles. Okay, well, I'm the country lead for Dominica. So, I mean, I started as a regular ambassador, mm -hmm. then I moved up ranks <laughs> to, to become the lead ambassador for Dominica. Okay. Yes. And similarly, I'm the country lead ambassador for St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, I have a team of young ambassadors. <laughs> young persons, the young persons, um, you know, that are part of this movement. Mm. Awesome. You said moved up the ranks. So you started as a regular member, and how moving up, how does moving up the ranks work? Uh, well, it's not necessarily as a means of uh, moving up the rank. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to give myself a little, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, um, you have to put in the work as, a, as an ambassador, okay. try to mobilize as, as much um, young persons to the platform as possible. Mm -hmm. And I think that work will be recognized mm -hmm. um, to basically um, amplify you to uh, you know, to that uh, position. Yep. Uh, in terms of the topic, it's broad. Um, your report really encourages um, inclusiveness. So the topics range from education to health, to mental health, climate change, climate justice. Um, there is basically no um, exclusion <laughs> of issues. Mm -hmm. As long as it's youth-related issues um, that basically impact young people, yes. um, you report OECS will get on board to address these issues. And again, um, because we are dealing with a, a number of member states within the OECS region, obviously some of the topics will be tailored to the individual priorities of the of the necessary um, country. All right. Malachi, do you feel the same way? Yes, yeah, so one of the major things what I love about this platform is that it could go, go down to very specific, it could go mm -hmm. down to parishes in the country. So we have sinks in Nevis, we can say what is affecting persons in Nevis? What problems are young people in Nevis really facing, right? And then lawmakers, policy makers, and can policy and, and Skinner parents like myself can go in and debate on behalf of these young persons, informed by quality, uh, quantitative data. Right, so that is one of the beauty about this platform that you know it's easy. It meets youth where they are, 
which is WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. So you don't have to go and download a new app, right? You, you just send join and when you could talk about the Definitely. number, the, the, the number to join the report yes. OECS. Okay. Yes. So, wait, but, yeah. Andre, hold on. Since mm-hmm. he touched on that, let's right. uh, let one day. Sure. Right. So, t- um, how does your report work? It's fairly easy. Um, your report utilizes the three popular social media platforms, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. That's where the young people are because it's a platform for the youth, by the youth. So, um, in terms of the steps, young persons can actually text the word join to the WhatsApp number 758-287-2124 or text the word join to Facebook Messenger or Instagram DM. Young persons will be prompted to three demographic questions, nothing personal, just to collect information um, regarding your, um, your age, parish, and so forth. Um, and this information is absolutely confidential. Um, it's just in terms of um, really collecting this data so that it could be analyzed. As a young person, if I should join the youth report, right? How do you protect what I say in this general space so, so that persons don't come across as if I'm confusion or if I'm voicing my opinion, what's bothering me? How do you protect a young individual like myself? from voicing my opinion on the social media platforms. Right. So your report OECS is an anonymous digital space. Okay. No personal information is collected. It's strictly um, demographic questions that you are asked. And in and definitely your report, the platform prides itself on confidentiality. Okay. So you are basically um, represented by a number, a, a, a code. Oh, I see. Yes. So you hear it for. So if I contact you on WhatsApp, you won't be tracing my number. Not at all. <laughs> Do you plan to contact them? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, Malachi, this one is for you. What are some of the upcoming initiatives or campaign that you report OECS is planning to launch right here in our Twin Island Federation? Okay, so one of the upcoming initiatives basically is our relaunch country mission. That is why Wendy um, is here, you know, lending some support from all the way from Dominica. So what we, we plan to do, we have a number of media engagements and especially schools. We're visiting schools. We come basically coming to communities near you, right? So we have, we're going even to Nevis because, you know, we have to get signups. So we want to get young persons sign up to this platform because we can only go to lawmakers and go to policymakers and said, this is the numbers if the persons actually sign up, participate in these polls, participate in the fundu task so that is our main goal for this week letting persons know what your report is the importance of this tool um and that is a necessary it's a, and that's what we need to learn it's a necessary tool and it bridges bridge the gap between young persons and those in authority oh, yeah. and speaking about young persons because when i did my little research on your report for ECS, I realized that you folks target age range between 13 to 29 uh-huh. years. Why is that specific age range? It is, it is um, the age range that's defined by UNICEF, but there is no age discrimination. Anyone can actually sign on to the platform, right? Even those in the expired youth bracket can actually... <laughs> Can actually um, sign on to the platform. Next turn. Side eye. I had to do that, man. Ooh, okay, that's that's good to know that everybody can participate. Yes. So I'm gonna ask you both: What is the biggest issue that you have in your federation and in Dominica? Okay, so I think in sync is one of the major issues, and that's why I feel like this platform is. Because I could say what the major problem is for certain youth. I can't speak for the majority of youth, and that's why this platform is necessary, right? It's important. So, but what I can say is the major problem we have is unemployment and the increase in crime, and especially in our high schools. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can echo similar sentiments in terms of utilizing the platform to really collect that information from the, from young people. I mean, it's one thing to basically speak from guesswork or from assumption um, that young people need a particular um, you know thing, but this is what the platform is for: to collect this information, to hear directly from young people what is their their biggest issue, what are their challenges, what is it that they really need, what are they 
aspirations and expectations. Um, but I'm um, so far from the information collected, we can clearly say that um, young people need more participation. They need more. Uh, they need a better voice um, in terms of bridging that gap between themselves and policymakers to advocate for issues. So I think one of the biggest issues is participation, participation at the governance level. Um, unemployment and all the other issues is, is pretty common to most OECS states. So I think um, that is without saying. And I know young, peop young people in particular have to deal with sometimes. What are some of the most difficult challenges you all face? at the youth or OECS. Any challenges you are discovering? Um, in terms of engaging young yeah. people? Um, I think Malachi can speak specifically for Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things that we we need are more youth groups, youth led we need youth advocacy. Our youth advocacy is not um, and I must admit the best. We have, you know, Skyniper which is charting a course for youth youth groups in the federation and now we have your report which would you know to make it up there also with Skanaipo being that voice for youth right so one of the things that we have need to have a different mindset when it comes to youth advocacy and that is starting with youth having um, a say with things that involves them and directly impact you mentioned the schools. What about going to the churches when they do have youth groups and talking to them about this? Yes, um, Wendy actually has, you know, a, Ooh, a plan yeah. for that oh, that we will be implementing right. soon. In sake, in sake <laughs> okay. Yeah, we do have something coming um, because we recognize the gap in age range and in terms of just engaging this um, with the religious community mm -hmm. because I think that they also do have a say and. In terms of the religious community, there's a lot that they can do. Mm -hmm. And you know that there are religious faith um, groups, there are civil community groups as yes. well. I, I mean, but finders, yes. mm -hmm. Christian Union networks, and what so on. Right. Mm -hmm. So we do have something coming. Um, so it's, it's about time to get signed up so that you can definitely stay tuned to these plans. But it's definitely going to be, a, hopefully, a summer project that's going to be grand and impactful. Can you, either of you, speak to the disaster response that um, the voices of influence policies and programs and symptoms? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in, and I mean that would speak to some of our greatest achievements, which I am always very excited about. Because it's one thing to engage young people, but is another thing to recognize the impact, right? Um, I think the greatest achievement so far is our ability to mobilize over 5,600 young people from across the OECS. And, and in doing so, we have also mobilized young people in St. Vincent. And we are all familiar with La Sufre volcanic eruption. So UNICEF would have actually utilized the U-Report platform to engage young people in St. Vincent and solicit their views on how the volcanic eruption impacted their lives. And surprisingly to say, um, from the poll, about 57% of young people said that they needed cash. I mean, if that's what young people say they need, you can't you can't say that's not you can't defer right if that's exactly so what unicef did is that they recognize that's what young people said so we're going to give young people what they're asking for so unicef actually implemented this cash plus program to provide financial assistance to families in in St. Vincent. And this is not limited to financial assistance, but they also recognize from the data collected that young people were affected mentally. So they used the, um, they utilized the U-Report platform to actually um, propose psychosocial support and the necessary resources that young Vincentians can actually um, employ to assist them. Awesome, awesome. And that's your camera right here. Can you just look in that camera and tell the whole, especially in St. Kitts and Nevis, why it's yeah. important or why they should be a part of the report? Okay, so why is it important to be a U reporter? That's why you're called when you sign up to the platform, yeah. right? So it's important because as a youth advocate, I this hits home for me. 
our lawmakers and our policymakers and even us and you know you debaters need to know what issues really affect you this platform is one confidential right so you could speak to speak, just text in, in the chat and respond to polls without um, feeling intimidated you could speak freely no one is there judging you and that's the importance of you report OECS so I would encourage just like what I did I did my research I, I followed you report OECS on Instagram and Facebook and then I would have been able to you know start doing polls polls for saying case polls for the OECS and then you could see these turning into actual legislation and that's why we're going to be partnering with, with more like ministries so many ministries and lawmakers connecting we're connecting with the data we get the data we go to the ministry of, of youth go to the ministry of environment so this is what we would feel all right and this is what we think means strong action and that is why you report oecs is a necessary tool um, as the tagline says on our shirts here, voices matter. Our voices matter. Young people voices matter. I think it's about time that we engage young people in a space where they feel safe and um, get down with tokenism, youth tokenism. I think that's one of my biggest, um, you know, fits done with tokenism because we engage young people in a space but there is really no plan mm. so we just put them there as ornaments um so this digital space is the perfect opportunity for young people voices to actually matter and to help to bridge that gap between young people and policy makers as a way to amplify their voices on issues and assisting assisting that decision making process so i would definitely encourage young people in st kitts and nevis because we'll also be engaging um you know young people in nevis to get with the program sign up to one of the the, the most um, amazing global movements um like malachi would have mentioned there are over 26 million young people signed up globally in over 95 countries and we are spec on this in, in in this global movement but we can definitely make a massive impact so that would be my encouragement um to Young people in St. Kitts and Nevis. I see a, I'm feeling a Eugenia, future Eugenia Charles. Future right Eugenia. Here, right here, and a future Prime Minister right here. Yes. Yeah.